entrance antiphon. The Lord heard and heard mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we continue our Lenten journey and enter this sacred liturgy, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out full-throated and unsparingly, lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways, like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day, you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance? that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed and breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is from Psalm 51. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. A heart, heart contrite contrib- and humble, O God, you will not, not spurn. spurn. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. glory. Seek good and not evil so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, those days are today. We have begun the great fast, the fast of Lent, to prepare our hearts for um, Holy Week and Easter and to continue to seek to call out to the Lord for repentance and for life. Our first reading, the prophet Isaiah reminds us why the church recommends fasting and almsgiving together. If we look inward and spend too much time seeking out our faults, spend too much time seeking out our imperfections and seeking to to change those or transform those, that's a good thing. But if we spend too much time doing that, we become totally looking at the ego, at the self, at the I, and to the detriment of everything else going on around us. And even sometimes we forget to invite the Lord in and take credit for, oh, I I worked really hard during Lent and, and I made these, these gains or whatever. No, ultimately, we need to give all glory to the Lord. And the church pairs it with almsgiving because this Christian charity demands that we look outside of ourselves. Love of God necessarily implies love of neighbor. So what is the fasting that the, Lord's wish, that the Lord wishes? Releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them and not turning your back on your own. So if you've come up with your Lenten disciplines and and you think they're all great and good, but they don't include some sort of almsgiving, some sort of charity, some sort of going outside yourself, whether that's monetarily or to reach out to, to friends who you've lost track of, to send encouraging notes or cards, to feed the hungry, clothe the sick, shelter the homeless, there's not some sort of going out of yourself this Lent. Well, there's still time. Go back to the drawing board with the Lord and, and find a way um, to give of yourself so it's not just a, a 40 days of self-improvement, but 40 days of being totally open to the Lord, um, responding to his grace through prayer, through fasting, and through almsgiving. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Trusting in the Lord's mercy, let us humbly turn to God to present our needs. For the church throughout the world, for all who have been anointed her leaders, for all who share in the one baptism we profess, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Through our prayer. For all nations, may the witness of committed Christians foster an increased respect for human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Through our prayer. For all those who thirst for light in situations of great darkness, may God's love lead them to everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God help us engage in our Lenten sacrifices with sincerity and faithfulness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they be welcomed into eternal joy by the angels and saints in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially for Maggie, Steve, Evan, Caden, and Lucy Bigby, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions and desires of our heart, 
which we mention now in silence. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, hear these prayers we offer today through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, where they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. 
Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. Once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon. O Lord, make me know your ways. Teach me your paths. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. And a Hail Mary to the Queen of Peace for peace in Ukraine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 